Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw the builder from Clasharama. We're going to get started in the center of our page with the nose. So I'm going to draw two lines side by side, starting on the left. Draw one line coming down, leave a gap in the center, and draw the same thing on the right side. Now at the bottom, I just want to curl around the nostrils. Starting on the left side, I'm going to curve around, come down towards the bottom, and then back up around on the right side. Now on the left and right, I'm going to add in the nostrils, so two circles on either side. Now to the side of the nose, we're going to draw in the eyes. So we're going to draw a circle on the left side, starting from the top. And we'll do the same thing on the right side, starting from the top, lining it up. Now in the middle, we're going to draw a smaller circle for the pupil, and then we'll fill those in black. Directly below the eyes, I'm going to add in an eye bag. So on the left side, we're just going to curve around the bottom of the eye and pull it up. Do the same thing on the right. And then above the eyes, we're going to add in the eyebrow. So over the left eye, I'm just going to curve up and in. Do the same thing on the right side, so curving down towards the right. Now we're just going to angle up the sides. So curving and rounding out on the left, and then in the opposite direction on the inside of the eyebrow. I'm just going to connect the tops with another curve. On the side of the nostrils, we're going to draw in the cheekbones. So on the top left, we're going to curve down and out, and we're just going to curl around the end. Do the same thing on the right, so going underneath the eye bag, and then just pulling down the sides. Underneath the nose, we're going to add in the mouth. So from left to right, we're going to draw a curve, just going underneath the nose, and back up on the right side. On the left, I want to round up the side of the mouth, curving around, and we're going to pull this back over towards the right side, so curving down, and we're just going to go a little bit further out on the right. On the end, I'm just going to draw a short angle line coming down. Let's add in the teeth. So on the side of the mouth, about halfway down, we're just going to angle up across the mouth to right about there. We're going to pull this line straight down underneath the bottom lip. We're going to go over and draw a straight line going up underneath the top lip. Now let's add in some teeth. So along the top row, I'm just going to add some random lines, just spaced out randomly across, and then along the bottom as well. We'll draw a couple closer together and some further apart. Now that we've got the face, let's move up and draw in the hairline. So from the left edge of the eyebrow, we're just going to curve up the middle and then down on the right side. And then up in here, I'm just going to add a little wrinkle in the forehead. Starting above the left eyebrow, we're just going to curve down, up, and then over towards the right. And then just above it, we're just going to draw a short little curve going across. From these two points, we're going to come straight down along the side of the head. Just pulling a line just past the bottom edge of the mouth. Do the same thing on the right side. And we're going to round out the bottom of the sideburns. Just curving around, and then we're going to pull that back up. Now let's pull these back up to about the same height as the eyes. And then I'm going to tuck the ears in behind the sideburn. So from the left point, we're going to step down, curve up and out towards the left, round it out, and then pull that back in. We'll do the same thing on the right. Then we're going to add some inner ear detail. On the left side, I'm just going to hook it down, and then we'll just draw a little C at the end. We're going to do the opposite on the right side, so hooking down and then drawing a backwards C. Now directly below the mouth, we're going to draw on the lower part of the chin. So starting on the inside edge of the left sideburn, we're going to curve down and then back up on the right side. Let's add some stubble along the chin, so just a few little dots. Let's draw on the side of the hair going up towards the top of the head. So on the left side, just above the ear, we're going to curve up and just pull it in slightly. Do the same thing on the right curving up and over towards the left. Now we're going to connect those two points with a curve for the top of the head. Just going up in the middle, and then down on the right. In the middle of the head, I'm just going to draw a split down the center. Okay, so now that we've got the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm going to start with the left side first because the arm will overlap the body. So just underneath the earlobe, I'm going to curve out and then down. From here, I'm going to curve the outer part of the forearm, doing another curve going out 
and then down towards the knuckles. We're gonna work our way back up on the inside. So from the end, we're gonna step up, just gonna curve around, and then just pull that up. We're gonna step down again, we're gonna draw forward knuckles. So curving up again, draw the third one. Now the fourth one's gonna go around and then up in towards the elbow, leaving a little gap on the inside. Just curve around, up to right about there. Now we're gonna curve in and then up underneath the sideburn. Now on the right side, you're gonna see a little bit more of the pot belly. So underneath the side frame, we're gonna draw a straight line coming down towards the hip. We're gonna round out the belly and then come back in. In the middle of the body here, we're gonna draw on the big belt buckle. So we're gonna start with a straight line going across. We're gonna round out the corners and then come down the side. Now we're gonna round out the bottom and then go straight across the bottom of the buckle. Now we're just gonna trace out the inside, just following the same curves and lines as we have on the outside. On the top corners of the buckle, we're going to step down and draw two curves going to the side of the body. So one going up and out towards the left, up and out towards the right. We're going to step down to the bottom corners and then do the same thing. Now let's draw on the lower part of the belly. So we're going to imagine this curve of the belly coming down towards the lower torso. So right in the middle here, draw a curve from left to right, going across. Now we're going to tuck the leg in underneath, so leaving a small gap in the center. Go over to the left side, curve down, almost like a half circle, and then back up. Do the same thing on this side. Now we're going to go tuck this in underneath the belly. So curving to the bottom of the leg, go up the side of the body to create a little bit of an overlap. At the bottom of the curve, we're going to add the cuff of the pant. So curving from left to right, just along the bottom of the leg. Then we'll tuck the feet in underneath. So from this point, we're gonna step out, curve down towards the heel. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna curve the bottom of the feet towards the toe. Then we're gonna curve this back up underneath the cup. On the right side, I'm gonna have him holding a large hammer. So we start with the outside edge of the upper arm first. So coming down alongside the, the body, we're gonna curve down and out to right about there. Now I'm just gonna draw an oval at the end for the thumb. Now we're gonna layer the fingers in behind. So stepping down, we're just gonna curve up, almost like drawing an oval, and then just gonna pull that up underneath the base of the thumb. On the side of this finger, we're just gonna curve in behind the body, and then back up behind the first finger. Now on the side of the fist, we're gonna have to draw in the hammer. So from the top, we're just going to angle down and in. From this point, we want to draw an oval going out towards the right. And then we'll just pull that back towards the left. From the edge of this oval, we're just going to draw that same straight line angling down to the bottom. And we'll connect those two points with a curve. On the right side, we're just going to draw the end of the hammer, a little oval on the side. We're going to draw two lines coming in behind the hand in behind the thumb, and then we're going to continue this line between the thumb and the body. And there we have it. There's the builder from Clasharama. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.